Now, hydropower development is currently taking hold in Lao PDR as part of the country's ambitious push to become a major producer of electricity in this region. In this next story, we take a look at the Nam Turn 2 hydropower project in central Laos, particularly the approach to its development that many have heralded as the showpiece for future hydropower projects. More in this report. Water, Mother Nature's gift of life, is also a reliable source of energy that has been utilized by humans since the dawn of civilization. Today, in mountainous and heavily forested Laos, hydroelectric power is a promising business. Strong government support, favorable natural conditions, and robust demand from power-hungry neighbors like Thailand have resulted in projects such as this, the Nam Turn 2, a 1,070-megawatt power plant, so far the largest in Lao PDR, which has been in operation commercially since March of 2010. Nam Turn 2 is the first trans-basin hydro power plant in Laos, where the dam, the reservoir and the power station span across two river basins, both connecting to the Mekong River. First, the Nam Turn River, where a 39-meter-high dam was built, and second, the Seban Phai River, where the water from the power station is diverted to. The project, with an estimated cost of 1.2 billion US dollars, has undoubtedly impacted the environmental as well as the people's living conditions in the area. Consequences, which the plant operator, the Nam Turn 2 Power Company or NTPC, has prepared to mitigate in advance. The project has uh, spent about 16% of its investment cost towards uh, mitigation uh, of uh, potential project impacts. And uh, looking back, this I think was a very uh, beneficial uh, investment. It is estimated that the Nam Turn 2 will generate around 2 billion US dollars for the Lao government over the 25 years operating period. The Asian Development Bank, who is involved in the project, also ensure through its finance scheme that the revenue generated will go towards economic development. And that the revenue for Nam Tun 2, for example, 2 billion US dollars over 25 year concession period is for poverty reduction, health, education, rural roads, and environment protection. So it's, it's very important that it, the development in a socially, environmentally responsible way and for the poverty reduction of the country. And therefore, I think that's, uh, this Nam Tun 2 is a showcase. The approach to the development of this project that take into consideration the social needs of the local as well as the environmental impact and the lesson learned from here is certainly a valuable one as Lao PDR aims to become the so-called battery of the greater Mekong sub-region. This ambitious aim reflects the huge potential of Lao energy sector and facility like the Nam Turn 2, which currently generating 1,000 megawatt of electricity for neighboring Thailand, is part of the 7,000 megawatt electricity export program between Thailand and Lao PDR. Nevertheless, to truly be the power bridge of the greater Mekong sub-region in the long run, Lao still has a lot to do to develop and upgrade its infrastructure. We want to help Lao PDR develop a transmission grid, a national transmission grid, so that the electricity also not only for export and also to, for the electrification of the people, they under their seven five year plan, they want to have 90% electrification by 2020 and also for support manufacturing industries so that the, um, there will be diversification of the economy so that people can go jobs and then for employment creation. And this, is, and, and this national transmission grid will also be part of the Greater Mekong sub-regional to facilitate power trading and power exchange within the region. Many advocates of hydropower will hope that projects like Nam Turn 2 will be a model for future development that will help realize Lao PDR's energy ambition. Nevertheless, it remains to be seen whether the Nam Turn 2 environmental mitigation measures will be effective enough in the long run. I'm Pano Wong Chum of Thai News Agency, reporting for RCN TV from Khammuan Province, Lao PDR.